Oh, I didn't take you out. Did you seriously just avoid my explosive? Did you detonate my explosive? Wait, did it die from the explosion or just me putting the explosive on his face? It's kind of weird. Okay, so we're not going through here. Okay, we need to chainsaw this. It looks like we have to go through this area. We have to go up through here. You know, we should probably check to see if that's the case first. Instead of just blindly clearing this out. Oh yeah, it looks like we can go through here. Alright, so let's get rid of all of this. Oh, where are you? Come here. All right, so let's continue blowing this up. Okay, so now we will have a clear path to that bridge over there. Just pick that up. We just pick these up as well? Yeah. Make things easier. Okay, so then we need to continue blowing stuff up in this direction. Can I blow this up? No. Alright, so... We'd have to go through this area. I don't really want to go through there. Oh, come on. Oh, time to run. <laughs> okay, let's follow this now. So we still have to build our raw quartz line going to the factory. Like, I, I'm not actually sure what we're supposed to be building in the factory with raw quartz or any of its products, but whatever. Okay, here's our explosives. Okay, this is still going. So we can get fuel from over there. That's not a problem. I want to avoid this area because there's uranium there and that's radioactive, of course. Oh, I can blow this up now. And I need more explosives. There we go. Hello, Mr. Slug. I don't have enough space for you. Okay, so let's get rid of limestone. We can put the berries here as well.
Okay, we still have to do something with this. So what I'm going to do is just bring the raw quartz over. Because I really don't know if we're supposed to bring in the raw quartz or a refined material. So we'll just do raw quartz. Like we have a lot of it in here. Just bring it in like that. And I'm low on encased industrial beams. Wasn't watching that. Like this doesn't even reach. I might as well just like so. Yeah, we need 18. Okay, I should have had encased industrial beams in this container over here. No, I don't. All right, back to MK3s. Oh, damn you. Why did I have to do that? I'll do MK3s for the time being just so we can lay down some of these belts. And I'll have to remember to replace them later on. Okay, let's chainsaw this. Okay, we do need to get rid of some of this concrete. To explode those rocks down there. And, you know, this is just a stack of two copper sheets. Let's just do something with that. And we do need to construct something here. Now, we should have. We need to convert that slug to get rid of that slot, the slugs in it. Okay, I didn't put any crafting bench here or a workshop. Okay, let's just do this real quick. Get back that slot. Get rid of these trees. Probably have a production area over here for silica. Then we'll have a drop off point somewhere. Okay, you know what? We should probably dump some excess resources in here. Excess concrete. 
And then we'll have to go back and dump all of our stuff. I really don't want to be wasting this biomass. We do need a lot of biomass. At least for the fabric. I guess we'll just bring it over here. Make sure it can extend all the way here. We can have like a mini production area for our uh, silica. Right around here. We do need to chainsaw this though. Uh, there's more slugs over here, but I don't really have room for it, do I? Alright, let's blow up some rocks. We have 15 explosives left. Should be more than enough. And we'll put some foundations over here. Yeah, this should be more than enough for our purposes. I need to get rid of this thing. Should have additional slots from the consumed stuff. Okay. Let's build some, what is it called? Is it constructors that use this? Oh, well, we're about to find out. We'll just do four for silica. Okay, so should be enough, right? Anyway. Get you up here. Or, no, let's do this. We split her this way. And then if we need to, we can just expand in that direction. Like, I will need to expand this. Can we, I need to remember to upgrade these to MK4s. Pull here. It's one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Connect this over here. Let's 
see. Two, three, and four. And I guess we can put a truck station somewhere down here. First, we will put an industrial storage just so this can continue producing while I'm away. Or wait, hang on. We need mergers. Did I move this? Okay, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then we'll build a truck station somewhere down over here. Yeah, we'll have to clear this area. more explosives left that should be more than enough to clear it and then we'll just chainsaw the rest We did put some concrete into the container over there, so that shouldn't be a problem. Alright. Got the foundations here. Yeah, we'll just take all of it. Oh, autosave. Okay. Get rid of the limestone. Alright, so we'll fill this in. We do need a way for the truck to drive up. Am I making this more complicated than it needs to be? Like, I get the feeling I am, but at the same time... It's like... Whatever.
Okay, let's demolish this. So basically what I want to do is like have a ramp going up to this place. Then having a ramp go down here. There we go. So if I need trucks going in that direction, like there's already a path here. All right then, so. Oh, this looks kind of weird though. So I do want to change this around. These are MK threes. Okay, there we go. Get rid of the sulfur here. Now let's build our truck stop. Player is in the way. Other people's. Well, get out of the way! I'm trying to build here. Okay, we need to set this to load. And. Guess it already is. Okay, so. We need to bring the fuel over here. Bring it through here. You know what? Fuck it. It's a little crooked, but whatever. Let's go back up here. And this will work. We'll just load all of our silicone or silica into here and then it'll be good. Okay, we need to go back up there. Alright, so this is going well. You know what, I think it's time to get out of here. We're gonna take some coal with us. And then we're gonna start over at the uh, drop-off point. We'll go over here, go get into the hyper tubes. And then go over to the drop-off point and we'll start from there. We'll start recording from there. First, we need to get into this... Wait, which one am I supposed to get into? Uh... This one. Now this should take me all the way back to base, or at least to the iron mining area. Where does this go anyway? Nowhere! 
Okay. So I need to get some rubber for the the truck. Decided not I'm not going to get the tractor anymore. Is besides I need to drop off all of this biomass into the containers. And I already built the beacon, so why not? How are these things doing anyway? Okay, these are still going, so it's fine. There's one of our iron ingot smelting sites for the steel production. And then we're going to go over to the next one over here. So this area is where I will path the truck once I get there. And then there's the bridge right over there. And then beyond that is our drop off point. So I've gotten very familiar with this area. Like it's only like one quarter of this entire map. So that says a lot how big this place is. I just want to see this real quick. We have a lot of limestone going in. And a lot of concrete. So that's good. Everything's working perfectly. Alright, let's go home. There's our other iron ingot smelting place. That's working perfectly. Now, I can no longer see myself going through these tubes because, as you can see, the conveyor belts are in the way, and all I get to see is this gunpowder, or black powder. And apparently I can pick it up. Or not. No, I can't. Because I'm in the hyper tubes. But whatever. Because that's sulfur and black powder. We're not even doing anything with the sulfur anyway. So anyway, let's go drop off our biomass first and then we'll get our encased industrial beams, we'll get our rubber, and then we'll head off into the uh, aluminum producing area. Oh, we can get some rubber over here. Oh yeah, I guess I can't really uh, get out and do anything over at our quartz area anymore. Because, while well, I'm recording anyway. So, maybe for the first trip I'll just skip the recording and just head over there. And then, do we have any red... Yeah, flower petals can go in there. And then we'll get our encased industrial beams and our... Oh, we do need... Iron plates. Oh, come on, autosave. We'll just take three of these. And we'll take one more stack of this. Okay, so we got our rubber. Is that enough for a truck? Yes, it is. So we got everything we need for a truck. Now we just need to get our encased industrial beams and what else? What else was I supposed to get? Yeah, I should probably take some concrete with us. Oh, I should also check our power. Power is still good. Yeah, I completely forgot what else I was supposed to bring with me. Uh, okay then. Yeah, I don't remember. So, let's get some concrete and then we'll head off to the aluminum. We'll jump down here. And we'll get some concrete.
Yeah, that should do it. You know what? I should get rid of this bacon. I'm not using it. And then we will get some more concrete. Oh, we need explosives. That's what I was forgetting. Since we only have like five of these left. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so concrete or explosives. Looking for explosives over here. Just one stack is good enough. And off we go. Uh, it's the hyper tubes are over here. Yeah, we have a lot of aluminum sheets now. They're saturated on this belt, but we don't have like enough of them, you know? I guess we can drop off some of this stuff into the containers over there. Because I do need to get two stacks of aluminum sheets. Yeah, we'll put him in the container over here. Just one concrete, I guess three case industrial beams here. Oh, before we forget, let's get the aluminum sheets. One and two, that's all we need for now. Definitely missing a lot of silicone. Like it's just slowly trickling in. I guess it's not anymore because that all of our inventory is full now. Yeah, we just can't produce anymore. We need more silicone in here in order to produce more. 